Welcome to game two of Southeast Wargaming between myself, Phil, the Army's Nighthorn, and Dan, the Disciple of Zinch. So, the first battle report we're doing today is Altar of the Gods for game two. So, in this battle plan, there are four objectives one here, which is the Altar of Rage, the Altar of Resilience, the Altar of the other one, <laughs> and Altar of uh, Change. So, in this battle plan, uh, the victory conditions are we either kill each other or we have to capture at least three of the altars. And the way we capture an altar is we need models within three and no enemy models within three. So, in each of our hero phases, our champions can call upon, if, they're within, if they've captured an altar, they can pull, call upon its power to see if they can get a boon from that altar. On a 1, nothing happens and they suffer D3 mortal wounds. On a 2 and a 3, they nothing happens just in general. And on a 4+, plus, they get the boon of that altar. And if they come up, that's when we'll go into them. Um, but like, uh, just for instance, Rage is plus 1 to hit. And everyone within 6 gets plus 1 to hit. So, uh, Zinch finished deploying first. We have our... Uh, command traits, which please refer to the intro video with all the command traits and the rules for this path to glory. So mine is ruler of the spirit hosts, and the Lord of Change has what is it, Dan? Incorporeal form. Incorporeal form. Incorporeal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Zinch did finish deploying first on this battle. Who's taking the first turn for this clash of armies? Um, it's a tough one. I think I'm willing to let it slide this time and, and let you take the first turn. It's over to the ghosts! So, Night Haunt hero phase. Very simple, there's not much gonna be happening because I don't have any wizards. I'm not gonna use my command ability. I do generate one command point. Um, and I think that's everything. Um, just going over deployment for my first turn, I have got both units of Chain Ruffs and the Knight of Shrouds in the centre for our deployment, which is 12 inches in the middle. And my two units of Spirit Hosts are in the Underworld. So we're going to be back at the end of movement phase, turn one for Night Haunt. So these Night Haunt, uh, the Chain Ruffs pod, are going to move six towards the Altar of Change. These, these Chain Ruffs, we're going to move six to capture the Altar of rage, I can go through scenery because I am a spooky, scary ghost. <sighs> Trying to stay wholly within 12 of my Knight of Shrouds. Knight of Shrouds will be moving back ever so slightly to keep both Chain Rasp units wholly within 12. Old Gregor Lightsbane has faced the forces of Zinch before. Uh, so that is the end of the movement phase. I have no shooting, there is no charges, so I think it's going to be Zinch. Turn one, sir, and I gain both altars. These two altars. Zinch hero phase, turn one. The Lord of Change summons the magical arcane powers and does... Very little. <laughs> <laughs> so, so first we're going to roll some destiny dice, though. Let's see what we get, sir. Let's see what goes on in this world. Okay, there's A6 what? and A1. Yeah, those are the ones you want. Those are the ones I want. And well, a few fives isn't too bad. Okay, the two's, the two's are, are pointless, there. yeah. Okay. Um, unfortunate, but hey, I'll take it. Nice. Um, so put those to one side. Yes. For the spells this turn, there's very little in range because everything's 18 inch range. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to give off a Mystic Shield. Um, I'm going to get my Lord of Change to do it. Yep. And I'm going to get two dice. Two What's dice. Casting value of a six. Six. And he's going to do it on my one, one of the units. So um, that becomes an eight. So that does become an eight because my Lord of Change. Lord of Change. <laughs> Let's <laughs> do that. <laughs> so, who's getting Mystic Shield, sir? So, re-rolling save rolls of one. Uh, we'll just go with this unit on the on my okay, right. So they're going to have re-roll save rolls of one. We'll be back with the movement phase. Okay, so this unit of Pink Horrors with their Mystic Shield are simply going to hop along this way. <laughs> to they're going to run at all, or are you just going to move them? They're just going to move. I don't think they really care that much. Sweet. Okay. The pink horrors are going to scurry forward. Yep. Are they going to run? They are going to run. Let's throw that there. An extra, An extra two. two. Uh, seven inch movement. Seven inch movement. And they're going to get to about there. Sweet. Okay, and the Lord of Change doesn't really care about these boons because most of them are for melee. And he really just doesn't like getting in combat. <laughs> but he does like poking his nose forward. Oh, flying forward. Flap, flap, flap. More. <laughs> okay. 
And that's the end of movement. I think we do have a little bit of shooting. We do have a little bit of shooting. So I think the Lord of Change is going to level his staff with the poor Chain Rasp and get some shots. So, Lord of Chains firing. Are we going to fire at the Chain Rasp? Uh, yes. Firing at the Chain now Rasp. The chain and he gets 2d6 attacks. Okay. Six. Six. Take Stand. For He's warming up. He's warming up. That's it. It's early days. And he hits on threes and wounds on threes. Nice. Okay. Three hits. Well, I'm going especially average today. <laughs> Just one, the one. one. One wound. One wound for one damage, no rend. No rend, so I've got a five up save. Can you make Made it! Ghosts! Okay, so I think that's the end of shooting. Yeah. So I don't think there's any charges and there's definitely no combat, so I think we roll off a priority, sir. So I win ties because I went first. I got a two. Oh no. A two, so I get to choose who goes next. Hmm. I think. Gregor Lightsbane will take the advantage, so it's going to be death. Turn two. Okay, so gaining another command point up to two. My hero phase is going to be quite straightforward. I'm not going to do, well, there's nothing I can do, because my command ability is done in the hero phase. So we're going to go straight on to movement, and uh, we'll be back with what happens. It's a very, it's a, it's a kind of tense situation. No one's doing anything at the minute, but that will change. Be back. So these chain rafts, we're just going to shuffle just to solidify their hold on this objective. Much the same, just solidifying the objective, that's all. So the Knight of Shrouds is going to abandon this group of chain rasp and fly, whoop, knocking, almost knocking over the wall to behind his legion here. So at the end of the movement phase, deep striking's happening from the underworld. The oh. spirits come, so we're back with where they end up. So the spirit hosts have caught me unawares popping up out of creepy buildings, nine away from this unit of horrors. <laughs> but alas, that's not all. It happened on this side as well. <laughs> I may be committing to one side, but spooky scary, I will get that damn altar. So, so no shooting, so I'm gonna go straight on to the charge phase. Spirit hosts, they need a nine at least. I get it with an eight, no, they do not make the charge. Now this unit is also gonna try and hover over to this unit of pink horrors. Needing a 9, gets it with a 10, that's tasty, so we'll move the movie back and that does mean my Wave of Terror command allegiance ability will proc so I'll get to fight in the charge phase. So we'll move them in and get some swings ready. Like a Wave of Terror getting that unmodified charge roll of 10 after completing the charge move, the spirit host can immediately swing. All of them made in, so this is 12 dice, uh, I'm gonna re-roll 6, I'm looking for 5s, but 6s are mortal wounds. Oh, what? Wow! <laughs> Four, should... five, six mortal wounds so far. That's not right. And then, oh, how many hits? Well, we've got one hit. <laughs> uh, so, seven, eight mortal wounds and two hits. And two wounds. So, two regular saves and then eight mortal wounds, sir. Well, that is a ridiculous roll. Uh, well, I think no, I've right. got a save of five plus yeah. with, a, with a pink horror. Well, one of those survived, but. Otherwise, how many is that in total? So that's two, four, six, eight, nine pink <laughs> horrors drop. So now would you like to cause Petty Vengeance or Split? The problem with Petty Vengeance yeah. is it's on a six. Oh, okay. I have to roll and on a six I get to do Petty Vengeance. Right, okay. I think I'd rather save that point for some blue horror points. How many do you get per death? Two. Ooh, tasty, okay. Two blue horror points per death. So, <laughs> we'll remove nine pink horrors and be back. The combat phase, piling in. And I'm gonna roll the dice again. I just need one six, basically. I don't get a six. Hooray! So I get one hit so far. Now let's roll this again, because there's six more attacks. No sixes, so only three hits. Wounding on fours. One wound, oh Dan. One God. wound. Will your guy live? <laughs> yes, he will, because I'm going to use a fate point to keep oh. him alive. <laughs> so I do not win the game. <laughs> Using a five of the fate dice. Using a five of the fate dice. To keep that little guy 
alive, and I assume we're going to be using a one <laughs> for the battle shot phase. You know what? I think there's a good chance of that. Yeah, absolutely. But first, he's going to swing back. That is, so we'll get some dice and be back. Some dice. The brave or stupid pink horror swing back one attack. Oh, yes. Fives and fours? Fives and fours. No! <laughs> misses! He misses. Oh. That's life. Okay, so we're going to the Battle Shocks phase. I have none to take, so it is over to yours. Are you going to use? I'm going to use a fate dice. A number one on the a fate number dice. One. And because he's a banner bearer, smart. When I get a one for my Battle Shock test unmodified, I get to return d6 models Slain to models. the unit. Plus, you still keep the blue horror points. I've just had a yes, thought. I did. That's really cool. Yes, okay, I Okay, so how many. Pink, four pink horrors, four not pink bad. Return. It's not bad. So we'll set them up uh, and then we'll be back with the hero phase for Zinch's turn two. The Lord of Change stopping his pink horrors dying so abruptly, caught off guard by the spirits. We're going to go into turn two, Zinch. What's happening in the hero phase, Dan? Well, there's some recalculations having to happen. Uh, but firstly, let's do the command ability for this Lord of Change, the Beacon of Sorcery. Sweet. So you got two command points because it's turn two, but you're going to use one. I'm going to go back down to the one, and now uh, friendly Zinch wizards within 18 of the Lord of Change are going to get plus one to their casting and unbinding rolls. So that's going to be all of them. Right, so do we know what we're casting? Oh, yes, we're casting everything. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I can't stop it, so go ahead, sir. We're going to start with this unit over here, just in case anything might happen in the future. Mm -hmm. And now this unit uh, has Zinch's Inferno. Okay. And so we're going to cast that up with two dice that aren't my destiny dice. Casting value? Casting value of uh, nine. Okay, so you get plus one to cast because of your command ability though. I do. Ah, not so quite. a seven does not a go seven off. does not do it. Too, too late for that. Too late. Oh, you have, yeah, destiny dice yeah. you have to use um, yeah. before you roll. Yeah. So that's unfortunate for them, but that's never mind. So they're done. Uh, next, I'm going to use the Lord of Change to risky. I'm going to fold reality on that unit. <laughs> okay, awesome. Casting value? <laughs> fold reality has a casting value of seven. Sweet. Becomes a, ten. becomes a ten. So that's fine. Sweet. So now what happens, Dan? So now I have to roll a d6. So with the flick of the Lord of Change wrist. <gasps> on a one, that whole unit dies. <laughs> on a two plus, they gain that many models back. Incoming one. Oh, wow, And now they more. go back to full strength. Man, Zinch, seriously not happy with the getting caught off guard like that. That's I know it. he's a, a very kind of, what's the word? Grudge-bearing god. Well, he doesn't like to be messed around. <laughs> he doesn't like to be tricked. He is no, the trickster. If anyone's going to do the tricking here. It's true. So that returns that wow. I'm very happy Very tasty. That. So, next. next. Next, we're going to use this unit. And they're going to throw off a bolt of zinch into this unit that no! seems to be right here, annoyingly. They're not there at all, they're ghosts. <laughs> sure. <laughs> now this has a casting value of 8, and I get plus 2 to cast this because nice. they're so near the Lord of Change. Awesome. But that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Your uh, Lord of Change has one more spell, he I believe. does indeed. And he's going to use his special spell in his uh, War Scroll. Mm hmm which I'm going to remember the name of in just a second. It is called Infernal Gateway. Nice. Yeah, that has casts on a seven. Okay. Which Comes to ten. gets ten, so that's an eleven in total. That's fine. And for now, I have to roll nine dice, because okay. always with scenes. Yep. Who's your target? The spirit hosts? The spirit. This, this unit uh, behind us. Far unit. Okay, cool. Far unit behind cool. us, because they're not... Well, they're, they're not great. It's true. And now, on a 3 plus, mm -hmm. they take more mortal wound. Nice. Ooh, tasty. Very tasty. God, why couldn't I get that for a different roll? That's ridiculous. That's going to be seven wounds? Seven wounds. So, could you please remove two spirit hosts, sir? And one will go down to two wounds remaining. Very nice. Blam! The Lord of Chains firing back with his mm. arcane power. Yeah. So, I think we're going to go on to the movement phase. When do you summon? Summon at the end of movement. End of the movement phase. Sweet. Okay. So we will be back with the movement phase for Zinch turn. Big um, Lord. Big Lord. He's going to turn around 
I'll stay just outside of three of that guy. And just deal with this this mm. remaining ghosty bastard. Nice. These aren't moving really, are they? They have no real need to move. They're gonna stay there and just chill. Sweet, sounds good. So I think we're gonna go on to the shooting phase, which we have well, some. For that, Ooh. I'm gonna summon in some blue Ooh, horrors. Blue horrors coming in. We'll set them up and be back. How many points are they? 10 points out of my 18 that nice. I got. Nice, so 10 points. Times. Cool, 10 points, and they're going to have to be wholly within 12 of your hero, more than 9 from an enemy? Uh, within 9 of my hero, um, away from 9 of the enemy. Sweet, okay, so we'll set them up and be back. Bending the fabric of reality, the Lord of Change summons in from the, the realm of chaos 10 blue horrors, using the essence of the dead pink horrors that have now come back somehow <laughs> because each. Um, so we're going to a shooting phase. Do you yes. know where you're starting? Oh yes, we'll start with the pink horrors that are in combat. Sweet, so how many shots do they get? Uh, they get one each, so there's going to be ten shots. Okay, does the champion get anything different? He gets better melee. He gets an extra attack in melee, so okay. no one really cares. No, nope, fair enough. <laughs> okay, how many dodge so do you need, one, sir? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm good. Okay, cool. So hitting on. Heading on fours, moving on fours. Nice, that's not bad actually. Ah. Push like that. Okay. What, like about 50 50 again? Nice. Then fours to wound? Fours to wound. If I remember, it's the damage that's scary on these. Uh, no, it's just one damage. Okay. It's two wounds? Two wounds. Uh, I don't care about rent, so four up save because they're ghosts! Oh. Both saved. All right, what's next, sir? Okay, we're gonna go with this unit of pink horrors. Yep. They're gonna aim at this guy, <laughs> and try and do their best against him. 10 shots again. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'll have one of those. Thank you. Fours and fours. That was About the same, slightly yeah. better. A bit better, yeah. Well, ever so slightly better. Mm -hmm. And fours again. And that's two. Ooh. Ooh, is what my guys say. Uh, four up, one wound. One wound. So takes them down to takes one down wound to one. remaining. Um, and now the Lord, Lord of change. change. He can target these guys, even though they're in combat, yes. or he can target that guy. I feel like he's going to be happy enough trying to charge into this guy. Fair enough. So, so you're going to target gonna them. Bolt them with so his. So we'll uh, roll two d six. See how many shots his staff is going to get. Ooh, Ooh, 11. So we'll get some dice and be back with that Lord of Change shot. 11 shots. 11 shots, threes and threes. That Two hits? Was, Two misses, sorry? That was nice. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wounds. Four up save. Oh, come uh, on. Two, two go through, so that puts one spirit host down to one wound remaining. Lord of Change charging. Oh, he makes it. <laughs> Charge phase done. Woo! Combat phase. Who's going to swing first, sir? It's going to be the pink horrors, of course, because okay. I don't want them dead again. Fair enough. <laughs> so the pink horrors. 10 attacks or 11 attacks? There'll be 11 attacks because of the champion. Mm -hmm. um, alas, they're a bit crappy. Oh yeah, because it's melee. Yeah, so they've just got hitting on fives. And then Fair enough. On fours. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Cool. Hitting on fives. Hitting on fives. Okay, Not there's bad. a few there. There's a few. I just need at least one wound to go through to pick off one yeah, of those. Yeah, because that six attacks gone if you do that. Yeah, that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, fours to wound. Nice. Oh, three of them. That's three wounds. Do. So four up save, because I am a spooky spooky ghost. Two Good. wounds, that will kill that off kills that off model and put a wound down to the next one. Ah, when I can find it. Ah. Get there, there we go. Along. So the pink horror, the pink horrors. The spirit host, that's the name. <laughs> we'll swing back, it's my choice. So I've got six, seven, eight, nine. Can you get those three dice? 12 attacks, hitting on fives, but I'm looking for sixes, really. Oh, Ooh. these dice are loaded. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be five mortal wounds and three hits. Of course. And no wounds, so okay. five mortal wounds. Five mortal wounds, not much wow. can be done about that. But 
Hey, they'll just come back. What do they care? It's true. <laughs> Thankfully, you don't have another one on your destiny, dice. No, that's true. So, um, then it'd be your Lord Change, sir. Lord of Change? I should have swung with him, but never mind. Yeah, you should have, because hopefully I'm going to get was one damage mistake. through. No, you're not, I believe. If you can do it, I can do it. <laughs> it's true. So, because he's got his Rod of Sorcery, he's only got his Staff of Zinch. Okay. Which is three attacks. Yep. Hitting on fours. And wounding on twos. Nice. Yeah. One hit. One goes through. Unfortunately, not more. And twos. Okay, one wound. Don't matter, but negative four up. Nope. So he's going to be okay. dead. He's dead. Excellent. That makes him. So we'll go into the battle shock phase. I did lose one, but I had can't fail. So over to you. You've lost how many? Five? I lost five. My bravery is ten. Okay, so on a five or a... Uh, on a six, you'll lose one more. On a six, I'll lose one more. Mm -hmm. I think that's worth it to try and get a one on the one, dice. Yeah, to get them back. So, battle shock! <gasps> <laughs> it's going to be it's gonna be this type of campaign, <laughs> is it? Okay, how many come back? One. one. Okay, well, that's right. So then uh, we'll put them back and show you how they end up. Bloop, bloop. Priority for turn three, the night horn. Rolling a two again. A, a five. five. Who's taking it? Um, I'll be taking it. Yeah, that's a smart choice. Yeah. So we'll go into the hero phase for Zinch, turn three. So hero phase for Zinch, turn three. What's happening, Dan? Right, we're going to pop his command ability again. So plus one to cast. Plus one to cast for everybody. Yep, sweet. And the unit is going to try the Inferno again. Ooh, okay, go for it, sir. We'll risk it. Oh, oh, Gets him with a nine. Plus, plus one, so ten. ten. That's fine. I can't, I can't unbind, so what's that? So... The Nine Inferno. Um, the Inferno does roll nine dice, and for each six, do D three damage. D three more wounds. Okay, D3. let's roll it up. Five, six, I really wanted the the turn for this because I want to use my command ability, Spectral Summon, so I can pull some spirits back. We'll see. Sixes. No. no. How come they're loaded for you? Because <laughs> they're the Nighthorn die. <laughs> Okay, well, at least it was a successful cast. <laughs> I'll get that fate point. Yeah, true. Um, next, we'll try. I think it's worth trying to fold reality again. Okay, cool. So, Lord of Change, folding reality. Gets it with an eight. eight. Yep. Now, just don't get a one. Get a one. Oh! <laughs> so what, okay, so what happens? They'll die. <laughs> So amazing. They, they all die. <laughs> Slurped into nothingness because fate's funny like that. <laughs> Do you know what? I love how Zinch is, well, the Lord of Change is just like, you know what? No. You've disappointed me, keep coming they pushed back. It. They pushed it too much. So though. if I can hold that till the end of my turn, I've got this game. You've got a point on that then. Uh, no, not on that dice. No. Okay, well, that's fine because now I'm going to. Open the portal on them again. Yeah, yeah fair enough. <laughs> to try and do some more damage. Um, uh, six. Six. I think that's a fail. Plus one, cast. seven. Oh, could be. Might be a seven to cast. It might well be. Let me check. I wish they weren't all in different places here. <laughs> um, we'll be back. Getting a five and a three. The three changes the other one to a three. So you get to the yes. six and you get plus one. I get plus so one. you do get it with so a seven. I do get it with a seven. So nine dice. So nine dice again. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. And any three ups? And three ups do okay. damage. Okay. One, two, three, One, two, three four. four. Okay, so that'll kill this one, so one, two. And bring him down to two wounds. Uh, one wound. Can't bring him, yeah, because yeah. they have three wounds each. Yeah. That's all right. I can handle that. Mm -hmm. And for the sake of the lulls, these guys are going to try and mystic shield the blues. <laughs> okay, cool. Needing a six. Or five, technically, because plus one. That's Gets it five. with a seven. Okay. So the blue horrors are mystic shielded. <laughs> so we'll be back with the movement phase for Zinch. Movement phase, where are the blues moving? The blues are heading towards this guy, just because they need to make him die. They need to make him deaded. <laughs> Lord of Change flying forward. 
dealing with the threat, and he's very confident, kind of, in the blue horrors to get rid of that last spirit host. What word? Yeah. How, <laughs> How hard can it be? <laughs> so, uh, just flying forward to meet with the Knight of Shrouds. These pink horrors are just going to shuffle. Oh, they're going to shuffle forward slightly, yeah, just, just a little travel, bit, shuffle. so they stay within range of the artifact. Nice. The movement phase looking like this on the battlefield, uh, taking back control. The Lord of Change orders the shoots. Right, well, the pink horrors by shuffling forward. Uh, four of them are now within range to shoot randomly at these guys. The chain rasp. Okay, cool. Hitting on fours, I assume. Fours and fours. One hit. One hit. No wounds. No wounds. Okay, cool. That's fine. Do we know what we're doing next? Yep. The blue horrors. They're gonna flame wildly towards these guys. This <laughs> the lone spirit host. Okay, cool. What are they hitting on? Fours and fours. Oh, wow. They're the same as the pink. That's actually amazing, man. Wow. It makes sense why they put pink horrors up to 200 points as well now. Yes, it does, admittedly. Mm -hmm. So that was with 50-50 split. Nice. And one. one. It's enough. <laughs> it's enough. I bless thee with the ghosts of a thousand Scrooges. No, oh, he's dead. <laughs> that was not worth it. Blah! That Spirit was goes down. Yeah. Okay. Since I was planning on shooting with my Lord of Change on the, those guys. Ooh. You are in range of the we chain are rasp, in range sir. Of the chain rasps. So he is going to use his special sorcery rod of doom. Nice. How many attacks does he get? Double one. Ah. Oh. Gets six. Okay, six attacks. And three and threes. Nice four hits. Four hits. And one, one wound. wound. So one save or five up from a spooky spooky ghost. And Made you're it. Fine. Cool. All right, so that was quite a successful turn. Um, that objective needs to have control back, but that's what I suppose what the blue horrors are for. Yeah. So we're going to go into Nighthorn, turn three. Hero phase, now losing his spirit hosts, cannot summon them back. Um, no command abilities are going to be going off, and I have no wizards, so we're going to go straight onto the movement phase. Okay, so just shuffling, staying within three of the objective, but getting towards their, their master. Knight of Shroud is going to launch forward Gregor Lightsbane, mad that his spirit hosts have fallen, have, is charging 12 inches, he has a 10 inch charge to the pink horrors. These chain rasps, uh, I think, are just going to solidify their position up behind him and stay within three. Onto the charge phase, Knight of Shrouds declaring a charge. Need to 10 to get it to the pink horrors. I'm going to spend a command point oh. to re-roll that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nine inch will not do it. So close. Damn. Okay, so uh, that's going to be the end of my turn, sir. So we're going to have to roll off a priority. Okay. I'm scared. This is, this is a much more important one now. Yeah, man, it really is. Especially where your, <laughs> your dude's just sort of rounded out there now. <laughs> yeah, he's no slouch, but it's yeah not good. But we'll see. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you went first, so you win ties. Okay. You get a six, I you need a six. I can't use a fate dice for priority, you can, can I? Not. That is unfortunate. <laughs> no, okay, okay, right, so it's gonna be Nighthorn turn four. I needed that. We'll, I'll think about some stuff and we'll be back. So, gaining command point, back up to three, nothing to do in the hero phase. Just gonna go straight onto movement. The Knight of Shroud will move just to outside of three of the pink horrors. Next, these chain rasps are gonna move up <gasps> to assist. They're leaving their position. They are leaving their position. Because they're stupid! Out of the graveyard they come, sir. Oh my. Okay, so that's them. They are going to stay where they are, if nothing else, just to get out of line of sight a little bit more. I see. Just staying within but three, Just though. within three to yeah, hold it. Definitely. Alright, so we'll skip the shooting, we'll skip the, uh, the... Well, not skip the combat phase. We'll do the charge phase. Knight of Shrouds. Gets it with a 10! Oh, gets no. to fight in the charge phase! Uh. So actually, with a 10, let's have a, have, let's have a little measure. So 10, I can swing round to there before piles in. Okay. So we will swing before the charge phase. So I've got four attacks with my uh, Sword of Stolen Hours. Gregor Lightsbane being a beast. Threes and threes. Two hits. Threes to wound. Two wounds, sir. Negative one rend. Okay, six up. Oh, okay, nice. Made one. one. So two damage. Two so damage. Two, two pink horrors drop. We'll put two damage horrors. in the pool okay. for now. Yep. And then we've got the steed. Two attacks. Fours. One hits. Fives to wound. 
No wounds. Okay, so now we'll go just keep it rolling keep into it the rolling. combat phase. What I'm going to do, sir. Check these two off, yep. So now it's the combat phase, choosing him. I'm going to pile in, staying as close and swing round. He's cheeky. Cheeky indeed. And at the start of the combat phase, I will spend a command point going down to one to put Lord of Geists on himself, plus one attack to all melee weapons. Oh, lovely. So five attacks from the Sword of Stolen Hours, hitting on threes. So three hits, yes. and then wounding on threes. Three wounds at negative one rend, sir. Come on, you sixes. Yeah. So okay. four, so four damage oh, in the pool gosh. so far. And then we've got three attacks from the steed, hitting on fours, one hit, wounding on fives. No wounds. No wounds. So, so another that's be four, four damage. Drop. Okay, so we'll remove okay. them and uh, we'll pile in the pink horrors and be back. After piling in, looking like that, with three, four, five pink horrors able to swing, so that's going to be six attacks. Six attacks, fives and fours. Cool. Two hits. Two hits. And no wounds. No wounds on the Knight of Shroud. So we'll go into Battle Shock Test. I don't have to take one, but you do. I do. How many did you lose this turn? Uh, five, I believe. Or, yeah, five. So on a six, one more run. It's a one! Oh, damn it! It's <laughs> a D6 comeback. Five! five. <laughs> <laughs> so all my work I've done is for naught. Gribbly, gribbly, gribbly back. Oh, I think I've just lost my champion. <laughs> Don't try and mess with the pink horrors. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So we'll go into uh, Zinch turn four, yeah? Yep. Cool, so we're back with the hero phase. Hero phase for Zinch turn four. It's not looking good for Greg or Light today. What's the Lord of Change going to do? First, he's going to do his command ability again. Okay. Increase that spell power for... Nice, something. plus one to cast and then bind. And he is going to start with his infernal gateway on this wonderful lordy man here. On a knight of shrewds. And I'm going to use, simply just use a fate point. <laughs> to make it a ten. <laughs> to make it a ten, straight off the bat. Nice. Sod it. So, nine dice, every three up is a mortal wound on my knight of shrouds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three plus. Roll over for me, please, sir. A few Thank ones you. There. Okay. One, two, He's not going to die. Four. He's not going to die. All right. So I get six up. Uh, Deathless spirit save. Uh, I take four. So okay. I'm down to two wounds remaining on my lord of uh, okay. my knight of shrouds. And the pink horrors yep. are going to bolt a zinch nice. in his face. Okay. <laughs> which I believe is a bit harder to cast, but we'll see how they do. They get they get plus one. They do. Um, it's cast on an eight. Plus Get it with one. an eight. They did. All right, cool. So what does that mean? That is simply D six mortal wounds. All right, roll it up. Don't get a one. Get a one. Okay, or don't. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Uh, six up. Feel no pain. Deathless spirit. He is wow. gone. The Lord of Geist, Glegg or Glegg. I will be back. Look. Flames were just too much, even for ghosts. Yes, indeed. That was way too demony a voice for a ghost, but either way. <laughs> <laughs> cool, okay, so what's next? Uh, next, um, I think we might as well use another spell. That's well, what we well, have to. Um, I'm going to be happy to say, let's just mystic shield these guys. Fair enough. Let's, let's just see if it happens. It happens. Cool. So they are shielded. They are shielded. Blam! There's three spells added. Mm -hmm. Shame it wasn't one more. Indeed. Because, well, actually, I might do something gribbly at the end of my movement phase. All right. Okay. So we're going to go on to movement now? Um, I... In a minute. <laughs> okay, <cool. laughs> In a minute. So we'll be back. Phase blue horrors. What are they, they going to do? Um, they are going to run towards the objective to okay. secure it. So they're going to run an extra two. two. So seven so inches. Seven inches. Ending up like ending that. up like that. Oh, maybe. Maybe eventually. Uh, Pink horrors. Pink horrors are going to reshuffle about and get into a better line, ready to re do some shooting and okay. stay with the bolter. Sweet. Flapping forward, now taking the initiative after them seeing the Knight of Shrouds fall. Kablam. Kabla! <laughs> Kabla! <laughs> and at the end of movement phase, I'm gonna do some summoning with my fate points. You're cheating. Am I cheating? Yeah. I've gained I've gained eleven fate points. I'm gonna spend ten to bring out some random screamers. God damn. 
Sweet, but yeah, so wholly within nine? Holy within twelve. Holy within twelve, more than nine. nine from away. Okay, let's bring them in. Let's figure out where. Screamers entering this reality, uh, more than nine away from the chain rasps. Okay, so we'll go on to shooting phase. Yes, we will. What's so first? We'll do the pink horrors first, and they're all within 18 now. Cool. Since the numbers went back up to 10, yeah. they're all happy. <laughs> so cool. it's 10 shots. Ten. Hitting on fours. Oh. Ooh, four hits. Reading on fours. Two wounds. Two wounds. Two five up saves. Two drop. Ooh. No deathless spirits, so I'll take these two. Kablam, kablam. Okay. And we will use the rod of awesomeness mm -hmm. from the Lord of Change. Yep. Same unit. Same unit. Okay. And he's going to get seven attacks. Seven shots. Four, five, six, seven. Three and three. Five went through. Mm -hmm. And ooh, just two. two more wounds. Five up. Nope, two, two more, more drop. drop. Okay, and we're going to go straight into the charges. Yeah. I'm going to see if these screamers can get in. Okay, needing a nine. No. Which they do not. Anything else? Um, Send the change lord in. I mean, I might as well attempt it because yeah, do he's it. bulky enough to withstand. Oh yeah. It. And a nine will do it. <laughs> he certainly makes it. Let's see where nine will get him. Tastily. Tastily, right round their ass. And with his base size. Oosh. And that puts me within three. three. Yeah. Well, that's okay. awkward. <laughs> so, straight into combat. Yeah, man. Now let's see what he can do. He does his staff, doesn't he? Which I believe was... Three was or four attacks? Three or four attacks. So, staff's name's three attacks. Okay. Fours and twos. Nice. Two hits. Two hits. <laughs> One wound. One wound. Five up. Made oh. it. That's D3 that damage, isn't it? Two damage. Oh, two damage, fair. Okay, so I will swing back, feel the wrath, or feel the tickling <laughs> of my chain rasp. So I've got three, four, five, six in range to swing. So, seven attacks from the chain rasp into the Lord of Change, hitting on fours. So we've got four hits. Wounding on fours. Two wounds onto the Lord of Change. I two shoot wounds. Four up save. Four up save. Ah, not. damn. Not even it's taking a wound. So, okay, so we'll go on to Battle Shock. You don't have any to take. I lost four and bravery ten. I can't fail. Nope. Um, but you are within three of the objectives, sir. I am. Of three objectives, sorry. So I think that makes it a Disciple of Zinch victory. Well, would you look at that? That that turned around quite surprisingly. <laughs> That was an awesome game, actually. <laughs> it was not what I expected <laughs> no, at all. No, my ambush failed, um, and then Gregor Kuglame, uh, Gregor Kuglame? I'm thinking of Game of Thrones, <laughs> Gregor Lightsbane failed to bring the spirits back and just crumpled under the might of Zinch. It's it's just where, I, I mean, I might have only started with two units, but... Powerful units. Whew, yeah, they right. came back Absolutely. again and again. Really good game, so we'll uh, set up our post-game roles for the Path to Glory. We'll be back, Zinch Victory. At the end of that Path to Glory game, uh, game, well, game two in this series, but game one for me and Dan, uh, looking at the table for Ultra of the Gods, the winner was Chaos against Death. So Dan's going to get an additional one glory point as well as the D3. Would you like to roll the D3 for I me now, love please? To. And you can re roll it because you will. won. Okay, you might as well. Oh. Okay, so you're going to get two glory points, and I will automatically get one. So now we'll figure out what table we want to roll on and be back. And it's going to roll on the hero follower table for demons. So it's a D3. It's, it's not much choice, luckily. Well, okay. it's, it's almost a D3, as long as... Oh yeah, it kind of almost is. A four. four. Herald on of disc. Zinch on disc. Okay, so okay. that's going to add to your army. He'll paint that up and it'll be ready for the next game. Okay. So we'll go to the night horn, what I'm going to do. Right, so for the night horn, I think I need some, well, Gregor Lightsbane needs some heroes. So I'm going to roll and see what I get. A four. It's a dread blade harrow. Perfect, it's what I wanted. So I will buy that, build it, and paint it. And it will be ready for the next game.
And that's part of the glory game too. Thank you so much for watching, and please, uh, please subscribe. So that's it from me and from Dan. See you later. And uh, happy war game, guys. Peace.